All right, guys, this is benzene. This is just a little bit different route uh, than what I know a few of you use. So just figured I'd show you how I do it. Um, Got to use a steel vessel, obviously. Um, same method a lot of people do. So what I did there, get a nice perfectly round hole, was took this guy, which is just a step bit, held it in the vice grips, and popped it through by hand. It works pretty well for that. So uh, what I've done here off camera is I've weighed out the reactants we need in here. I've got 60 grams of benzoic acid. Uh, actually, what we're looking at here is only about 30 grams. This cup just wasn't big enough, so there are another 30 grams in our vessel already. So that's our benzoic acid. And then here we have 60 grams of calcium oxide. So we're going to use this as our oxidizer. Um, usually uh, people do it with NaOH, so it's just a little bit different route. Uh, so just like any other route to benzene that I've seen anyhow, uh, we just have to pour these both in our container and mix them thoroughly before anything else goes on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Dump in our benzoic. And I got that relatively clean. And it goes in our calcium oxide. Don't be a dumbass like I am and try to handle this stuff without gloves on because calcium oxide is pretty caustic, as I'm sure you all know. Uh, so the next step now is to just stir this up very well. You we want to have obviously a homogeneous mixture. Break up any clumps that you see as we're going. Um, in my case here, I, the calcium oxide is just a free-flowing powder, um, but the benzoic acid I made, and even though I dried it, uh, when it was sitting on the plate to crystallize, it started to clump up a little bit, so there's a couple little clumps of the acid in here, but it's no big deal. Uh, just chop them up like I'm doing here. I am actually just using an old stainless butter knife to do this. I found it works pretty good. And just in doing this already, as soon as you mix the reactants, you start to get a little bit of a reaction going on. Like I can feel on the bottom of the can here, this is warming up just from the exotherm. So keep that in mind. All right, so here you've got this. It's a nice homogeneous mixture here. So just like uh, every other route, at least every other route that I have seen to make benzene at home. Got to get our lid on there. I'm going to tap it on just with a mallet. Alright, so let me get this set up the rest of the way and I'll be right back. If you can see it, you can see already we're starting to have a reaction, so i got to work quick here. All right, so I got it all set up. You can see what it looks like. It's just a simple distillation setup. Uh, we don't need to worry about a thermometer for this because uh, we are simply just making benzene out of this. And uh, there will be some calcium benzoate left in our container, I think. Uh, don't really care about what the byproduct is here. Just making the benzene, so... Uh, so you can see I threw everything together. As I said, just a simple distillation apparatus. I uh, got the water going. Uh, I've got low flame on. And the only reason that I am even using the flame for this is simply because my can will not really fit into my mantle very well. So uh, now it's just a waiting game. And uh, we simply just wait for everything to uh, distill off. But this is a pretty fast distillation if you can see here, we're already collecting distillate. Is that showing up at all? Yeah, you can sort of see it there. It's a, you know, it's clear, so it's hard to see, but it's about a drop every three seconds right now, and that's going to speed up as this reaction progresses. So um, I just threw this together really quickly, so I am going to clamp uh, the top where the still head is, because I just had to kind of get it thrown together I forgot how quickly all this stuff really does react it's been a while um, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and clamp that and uh, I will be back okay got a cat clip on the top now so we're good to go uh, only other thing I should really mention here is kind of stole this idea from Nile Red but it works great you can see on my still head there and what I'm talking about is right down here where it penetrates into the vessel um, I did use a little bit of PTFE tape um, just to give it a good seal I have done this before without using tape at all and it was just fine but I figure you know since I'm recording this I should probably not be lazy and I'll do it the best way I possibly can to show y'all so you know that's it so now it is uh, literally just a waiting game and you know we're waiting for the distillation to complete but as I said you know it's a pretty fast distillation you can see right there how much we've already collected and uh, that's a 150 milliliter ball you're looking at right there so uh, yep I'll be back uh, when this gets done distilling and uh, we can move on to the drying steps okay just thought I'd show you guys this uh, only modifications that I have made here are you can see I've insulated the still head try to help everything come over a little bit that just makes it so I don't have to blast the heat as much and then down here I put uh, there's no ice in there it's just nice cold water um, around the collecting flask so that uh, it helps condense the benzene if any vapors come in there and it also uh, prevents evaporation as quickly uh, since you know as you know benzene is rather volatile uh, so um, yeah nothing else new uh, my flames dying out a little bit I'm gonna just turn that up slightly because I noticed that the distillate is coming over a little more slowly than what I want it to you can see let's see if we can see it here yeah it's barely coming over so yeah I think my flame just died too low it's like a drop every five or ten seconds now so yeah so I like it to come over like a drop per second or two at the most so just crank the heat up a little bit and again we have the insulation up here so should not be an issue any longer all right guys so uh, what we're looking at here is we're looking at our benzene after it has been dried and so off camera and this is typical with any kind of benzene scent so I put it into a set funnel washed it twice with some water uh, I'd say about 10 milliliters for each wash and then what we're looking at here is you know typical uh, benzene over some calcium chloride to dry it and I just left this sit while I was at work today you can see how the uh, calcium chloride is nice and clumped up at the bottom for the most part so that lets us know it has absorbed the water and uh, I'm not even gonna bother filming the rest of this because I'm sure you know how it goes it is just simply set your distillation apparatus back up for simple distillation and distill it off and then you've got your pure benzene via just a little bit of a different route so that's all there is to it guys benzene from benzoic acid and calcium oxide as the oxidizer